What's up you guys? It's your girl Malaika aka Malibu aka Malaika whatever you want to call me. It's me and today I am traveling. So guys I am traveling today. Oh my god. Um, it is my first time traveling all on my own and can you believe it? That small suitcase right there. That's the only thing that actually belongs to me. The largest suitcase contains items for my family members. And of course, this little personal bag right here contains my little kuchamins, um, my purse, my passport, of course, and my sweater just in case it gets cold on the plane or in the airport. But yeah, I am super nervous. It is my first time traveling by myself and I am freaking out. But I'm also excited at the same time. Now, I'm not going to say where I'm going just yet. If you can guess, comment down below right now. Pause the video and tell me where you think I'm going. Hint, it's warm in this place. <laughs> where could I be going to that's warm all by myself? Oh, my God. Um. Anyway, comment down below. And, of course, I'll reveal it, I'll reveal it later on in this video. Oh, and fun fact about my little purse, my little bag right here. I got this in Panama. It's And it's also the only thing that I actually purchased in Panama. I went to Panama this past summer. But it was my third time in Panama with my husband for the first time. Um, previously, I had gone with like my workplace and also my school for studies. But this time, I was actually there for just a vacation. And this is the only thing that I got because I was like, okay, I always wanted one of these little bags. And... And now I got one. <laughs> Anywho. Ooh. It's time you guys. Sheldon has my suitcase. Bringing out with him. I'm going to come out so I can close the door. Is it said about Ebby. That's why you need a strong man in your life to carry every bag for you. <laughs> I'm not a man to eat at that. Yeah, I use that out of context. Yes. That's why it's good to have a big strong man in your life to do things like these. Yes, sir. And we are on our way. Yes, sir. Ooh. So, like I said before, this, like I've said this like 10 times already in the video, but I am just like nerves just are run through my body. I'm just so nervous. Like for some reason, my fear is that I'm going to go to the wrong, um, the wrong gates or something and end up in a one country man supposed in a <laughs> like I don't know like that's just my fear so guys interestingly enough I actually live like technically three minutes away from the airport to cancel that plane right there but the section of the airport that I'm going to is actually like 15 minutes away from where my, where I'm at but yeah at the runway that basically I look at like we just saw the spirit um the spirit plane it took up super close to the airport which is like so convenient though like at least if you leave something in your yard you can't easily run back for it versus like if you live like an hour away from the airport so that's a plus Okay guys, I'm here. I've never actually seen the airport look this empty before. My day I will never get the right spot. Honestly, but it's an international check-in. So let's see. Nerves mm, kill me. Nerves still kill me, you guys. So guys, I'm about to go to the security section. As I said, I've never seen this place I entered before, but cool. I like this. All right. 
the nerves kinda go away, I you know. Guys, it's happening already. I'm feeling like I'm gonna know where I go. I'll do the lady say no. Go downstairs and take the train. What me I do? I look for the place like I know what to do. <laughs> God, 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 go with me. Alright, now I'm waiting for the train. Because this is Hartsfield International Airport. It is very large. And so I'm now waiting for the train to come so I can get to where I should actually be. But I think I do well so far. There goes the train. I'm about to hop in. Alright guys, we're each at you. Where am I supposed to go? So far I'm in a last. Thank you Father God. Thank you Jesus. I'm in a last so far. Take the time and go. So guys, they're about to board but I'm gonna use the bathroom because plain bathroom nasty and disgusting like. So anyway guys, as you can see I am now in the plane seated comfortably um i'm flying delta i think they're very professional i love flying delta so guys i was basically at the back of the plane but i never feel no way about this because i felt like i was in first class i was where the crew would be seated so me wanted back there window seat and all who comfortable like me <laughs> I wish I could say that we had a safe landing. It was very rough. We actually had to take back off. And then he turned around. That delayed us for about 10 minutes. And then we landed safely the second time. That was very good. It was a pleasure to welcome you to yeah. Montego Bay. Where I'm the local time is 3.34. Please stay safe. Guys, I can't see the difference between Jamaica and Atlanta. Given that <laughs> if they are in the US right now, Wouldn't I take this long ass walk? Like, would I go down some escalator or something? <laughs> Boy, the difference between a third world and a first world country. Still walking and you come like, okay, I stop walk. I'm the big sister, I should sit at the front. Yes. A party this? So. Yeah, you can go back like a more now. I must say I can't have that big. No, but I go on like that, of course. By driving skills. So do you know where to go from here? Yeah. Okay. By the grace of God. As you know how to get home. By the grace of God. <laughs> Why you do that? You yeah, try twang. Your twanging don't sound good. <laughs> Your twanging don't sound good. Do better. Do better. I try. I'll yeah, try people, I them look, I them look something I'm like about Jamaica, you know. So the man does do this, so does I do him look a map and I do him look a dance. You know, so them something they are foreign, you know. People not happy like Jamaican people, you know. Jamaican people is a happy set of people. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Him just enjoy himself. Yeah. Yeah. Work and enjoy Wow, you guys, look at this. This is so, so KFC over there, so the entrance. So, you need to keep right, you need to keep right so you can turn and come back over. Yeah, mommy, I'm coward, you know. Honest, see break here, see break here. Yeah, speed up on the break. She can't, it has to be. Make sure that she can't take it. So, one mommy, clear, clear, clear. 
Take a U-turn, quick, quick, quick and fast, mommy. Whoa! <laughs> you man, you can't cover the now. Not cover the safe. Safety, safety first. Safety. Arrive alive. Oh, yeah. you guys, you see that? Me, you know, Jamaica normally stress foreign and me come from foreign. And my mother is still paying for me. I'm still responsible for you. Oh! <laughs> Until the day you die, or if Aww. I die before you. You make me want to shed a tear. Oh, there's a payless over here. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if it's open. No, I'm not think so. I'm in my mood right now. No, but they're to open it to be saving it from <laughs> True. No, man, them KFC prices are real ridiculous. I'm assuming pandemic here. Mm -hmm. No, sir. Fifteen hundred dollars for a zinger box now. Famous bowl of five hundred dollars now. No, sir. Famous, really. I actually like it. Like, you have a feel for it. Yeah. Yeah. No, man, these prices are ridiculous. Yeah, How much is it for salad? Salad, salad combo is one two eighty, and the Oops. salad only one. No, man, I saw much just for one salad. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, salad combo include. Ocean Although vegetables spray, are expensive though. Flavored splash. Some cookies they were sweet and cool. Pie, four hundred dollar for a pie. But one one cookie. Pie? No, say so you can't come across here and buy one cookie. <laughs> It's like the cookie seal off your belly. Hello. Like it's no, like you still feel hungry. Yeah, so dessert. 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 Yeah. So you want three cookies then? One. Oh, you want cookie too? You want one. You take one yeah, Oh. Well, guys, I'm here in my little part of the world. This is where I'm from, my little country. Comment down below if you know this area. I'm not gonna tell you where it is. Tell me if you know where in Jamaica this is. All right. But yes, I am home and it feels so good to be home. It, it's just a different vibe coming here. Like uh, Jamaican people definitely behave different from foreign people. We're just happy. I can't stop um, saying that. We're happy people. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.